And we are back. It is time for week five of Team of the Season, which means it is league earn time with all eyes essentially on PSG. I don't want to sit here and just say Mbappe because I'd happily take Messi, Neymar, Renato Sanchez, Nuno Menj, etc. It's a big PSG Team of the Season and that is what we are going to be looking to get. In terms of the Kimpembe SBC, I'm going to say this off the bat. Unless I get one of the high-end PSG players, I think it's very unlikely I'm going to do Kimpembe. But you never know. You know what we do at the start of these videos. We start with our saved up packs from the League of the Week. Which means we will be starting with our 8 League Earn Pack. Followed by our Prime League Earn Pack ending with that 75 times 11 So let's just get straight into it. The first pack of the League Earn Tots. I will not be able to open because there is a duplicate in the way. You, you idiot. Now let's try that again. Eight guaranteed league earn players from the first pack of the week. And it is not a blue, but it is a board. It's going to be a Spanish centre mid. Expect to see these two a lot over the course of the coming days. It is Carlos Soler. And, well, this time it's Carlos Soler. Oh, it's both of them. There we go. Play the clip. Oh my god! Oh! But expect to see this combination a lot. Fabian and Carlos Soler in the opening pack. It's surely a sign of things to come. Let's get in to the Ligue 1 Prime then. We're yet to hit a blue from the Prime packs so far. But you never know. This might be where it changes. But it is sadly not. It is going to be a board again. It's going to be Schmeichel this time. Expect to see a lot of him over your pack opening this week as well. And here is that 11 times 75 league earn pack that we earned when we went rank one in foot champs during the community tots. We did manage to hit a blue from the equivalent pack for La Liga last week. So fingers crossed we can get our first league earn tots opened right now. It is going to be a team of the season. It's a French. Oh, let's go. That's class. I will take that, you know. Jonathan Klaus has had a very, very good season after his move to Marseille. He's been a key part in Marseille's strong finish in league earn this season. Looks like a fantastic card, actually. 80s all round. Would probably make a good midfielder as well. Is there going to be any dangles? No, not this time. But we'll take that. Jonathan Klaus to start things off. Is he seriously 400k? Damn! Four star, four star, high, high. You can play right back or right wing back. Like I say, would be a fantastic midfielder as well. I'm assuming that's just he's only been out for an hour or so. That's why he's 400k. I expect him to drop. But do you know what? He's got insane pace, insane defending, and insane physicals. At five foot ten, I might be massively underselling this card, but I'll give him a go out at some point this week, I'm sure. But great start to the video. We're on the board straight away. Now let's get in to the usual grind. Okay, let's go. Team of the season, Marley. He's done it. Again. That is a yes. Yeah, it's the objective, Traore. I thought it'd be a good idea to bring you in at this point because basically what I've been doing is I have been doing the league earn objective in champs. So that means that I have completed Traore. Who? Traore, you will see that we have got two player picks on there as well. That is because if you head over to Foot Champions, you will see that after 10 games played, we are currently 8-2 with the League Earn squad. And I am insane enough to think that I can still get to the reward pack whilst doing this League Earn objective. So that also means that since we have played 10 matches, we have already unlocked the red pick for Cancel Mbemba. He will go straight in to the main team, replacing future stars Disasi. I was tempted a little bit more to do Kimpembe after I saw this objective as he would fill in the left centre-back role. But then I saw this and Bemba and thought, well, I'll stick him at right centre-back and move Ramos over to left centre-back. So Mbemba is now completed. He will give me more chance of getting to the 13 wins needed to unlock a pender. And then hopefully I'll have enough games left over to then send the main team in to get the 14 or hopefully 16 wins once again this week. I will let you know once we get to the end. The next day. With that in mind then, it is obviously the next day. I'm about to start my foot champs run for the second half of champs. But before I do so, I'm going to open the 285 plus super loan player packs. Now, during Premier League team of the season, I opened the first one of these and was able to get Bruno Gimaraes team of the season from it. So hopefully I can get myself one of the really good league earn tots from this pack because that will then further assist my chances of having a really good foot champs finish so 
25 moment stars once again. Is it not going to let me open it because of the player picks? Oh, do you know what? I was going to save them. I'm going to open them because we need those super loans. And look, it's good fodder. And you never know, you might just get yourself a blue in one of these as well. Angolo, Angolo, God good fodder back into the club. We obviously will have more player picks when foot champs is over. Let's get that super loan open now. Here we go then. We'll try that again. 25 moment stars. Ah, oh, damn it. Never mind. We're just going to discard them. I've got no use for Muller or Galashium, a 99 game loan. We'll just have to suffer as is. I like it. Two hours later. We did it, baby. We've gone 13 and 3 with the League Earn team. And how did we do it? Negnuts. Negnuts. Nutmeg tutorial on the video. Go back a few weeks. I said that this is overpowered. I said that in the tight games of foot champs, this shot will clutch you victories. And it's done so here for me. Like I say, 13 and 3. Not even with a team of the season league earn team. Look at this team. We have got the moments Payet from Objectives from Milestones, and we've got the Moments Mavididi from the SBC, and we've got Ito from Red Picks from Community Tots. Like, we got Mbemba after 10 games. It was Disarcy until then. The other ones, Klaus, Traore, they were only good enough for the bench because of Hakimi. So, to get to 13-3 and three with this team, I think, is an incredible achievement. It, of course, means, firstly, we now have four games to get three wins with the main team. And, obviously, we also now complete our pender. So, let's get him claimed straight away. We, of course, get a player pick as well, which I will open with the remaining Futch Chance rewards. There's Papin, who, as good as that card is, didn't even make my league earn bench because of Mbappe and the other appender and all the other forwards I had available, Gomez, Guri. But there is a pender. He is going to walk out for us right now. Or is he? Yes, he is. There he is. Doing his keepy up in the Luton Town kit. Because what better kit to be wearing right now when you're looking for miracles like going 13-3 and three with a basic league earn team. You need the Luton Town kit on. So, our Penda is done. He will join Papan in the club. Probably never to be used, but I just like the idea of doing a challenge like this. And thankfully, we have completed it. Let's store them into the club. Now, let's go smash our remaining opponents with the main team. Harry Kane! He's in. Oh, bang! Come on! Is he gone? Is he gone? Let's go! FIFA community! Acknowledge me! Here we go then. We all know how this works by now. Rank 3... Loads of player picks, some good reds, and then we've got the guaranteed three times league earned tradable pack to open. There are a few other bits of business to discuss. Before that, you will see we have also completed the Nathan Redman objective whilst also doing all of the heroic chase objectives in uh, Milestone. So we're going to have an 85 times 5 ready for ultimate tots in a couple of weeks' time. So we're going to store all of that and discard the loans, which I'll never use. We then have the player picks left over from the Opender objective and Fut Champs, and then we've got our two red picks. So let's start with the one of fours. We'll take David De Gea. Actually got two team of the seasons in there, some former ones. We'll jump to this one. We'll get another former community tot in Kingsley Komen. Jump back to this one. Where we'll take... A former Bundesliga team of the season in Leroy Sane. And the final of the 80 blue fours. 
gets us Undai. We have another Undai from Silver Stars. This looks like a fantastic card, to be honest with you. Really nice all-round stats. How tall is he? 5'11". Big, pretty decent box-to-box -box or holding midfielder. We will probably give him a run out in some form of objective over the next week or so. But now we come to the two humongous red picks from Ligue 1. And like I say, I don't really need to say who I'm looking for in this. We all know the players we're looking for. Let's just hope we can get one of them here. One of four Ligue 1 red picks. I mean, it's got to be Fafana. He's the least linkable, but he looks fantastic. That's a really stinky pick. I'm not going to lie. I don't really need Tadebo. I would take him if I had other options, but already got Klaus. Definitely don't need Andre. Tadebo we're more than likely to get in the second pick. So we'll take Fafana. He looks like the best all round. And I believe, yeah, he's four star, four star, high, high as well. Looks like a fantastic box to box mid. Stick him on an engine. I'm sure he will be fantastic. And the second one. Can we see one of the over a mil players again? No, we can't. As expected, absolutely stinky. We'll take Medina. He looks half decent and he is the best centre-back in Liga and outside of Marquinhos. He's left-footed as well, so provides good balance in that. And they get a nice little link to each other. So some good red picks to go there. Not what exactly what we wanted, but we do have some big red picks still to come. I've got a lot of my what I call riffraff packs in the way, so I'm going to get them open for you first. And if we get anything out of any of them, you will see. If not, we will come back when we get to our tradable Fut Champs rewards. One eternity later. Well, unfortunately, we make it to the 50k pack without packing another blue, even from the Turkish League. We've had a fair few walkouts, but nothing that I would consider video worthy. So let's get into the tradable champs rewards. We start off with the 50k pack tradable. That isn't even going to be a board. That basically sums up the last 20 minutes I've had to sit through. Second 50k pack is going to be a team of the season. It's a Turkish right back. That is going to be Kadioglu from Fenerbahce. He looks like a half decent card. Depends how tall he is, whether or not he will be half decent. He is only 5'9", but he can play at right mid. So a little bit more useful in that regard. I think he actually would be better as a right mid, maybe on a Maestro or a Deadeye or something. Could be a fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder on a Gladiator as well with that 99 stamina. So Kadioglu, I will take that. Like I say, I've been looking for blues for the last half hour without any luck. So I will happily take that. Third 50k pack. You're joking. Not another one? This must be from draft. I have been doing some drafts recently. And it's going to be another blue. French this time. Cam. That will be Remy Cabela. And his big muscles. <laughs> in the Luton Town kit. Um, half decent card. I don't think he's going to get minutes over Dimitri Payet. If I'm being honest. Maybe rearrange the team a little bit to fit them both in. We shall see. No moments hiding behind him. I think he's only worth like 20, 30k. Yeah, he's not worth anything. No real surprises. Can play a multitude of positions though, but with the four star, four star, he's definitely not getting in over Dimitri Payet. But fair play to him for essentially rejuvenating his career this season at Lille. And yeah, moving on. Ultimate pack time then. And as always, it's not a blue. The 50k pack's actually doing more of a job. We get Jorginho. from the ultimate pack that is absolutely horrendous we do get ourselves a fair few boards as well but nine dupes you can see by the fact that we have 94 things currently on the trade pile how many packs i have opened just to get to these packs but it's all going to be coins back into the account to open that 500k pack so we'll let all of this clear through and then we'll get our guaranteed league earn packs open Kicking off the guarantees, we have our red player pack from playing one squad battle last week. A reminder to do your one squad battle every week to guarantee yourself this random red fodder card to go into your account. It's going to be a Saudi centre-back from Shahab Club. It's going to be Tom Bakhti. That brings us on to our guaranteed league earn pack from the League Earn Cup, where we went 9 and 0 in the Ligue 1 Cup, this is another chance at getting a massive Ligue 1 Team of the Season player or moment. So let's hope we get one of the big ones this time. It is going to be a normal Team of the Season. It's going to be a Portuguese left wing back. That is going to be... Nuno I'll take that, you know. Um, Nuno Tavares wasn't the best for me 
in that champs run. So Nuno Mendes is a much bigger upgrade on him. I don't know how much he is. I think he was around 100k the last time I looked. I may have completely undersold that, like I always do. Looks like he's coming in at around 270, 280k. So we'll take that. Only three star skill, only 5'9. Can only play left back, left wing back. So. I probably won't enjoy him too much as a left back. Probably more suitable to me as a left mid, box to box style player. But not too bad, like I say. Probably someone I wish I could sell. But we will take that. It's one of the better ones. Nuno Mendes joins the club. And that then brings us on to the big one that you've all been waiting for. That is, of course, the three times tradable league earn team of the season or team of the season moments pack. If we can get one of the big ones, I'll say this now, I will sell them just so we can have essentially infinite coins in the account. And yeah, don't really have anything else to say. Let's see if the grind was all worth it. Ligue 1 pack. It is obviously a team of the season because moments go behind. It's a French goalkeeper. Oh. Yikes. So that obviously rules out a lot of the big team of the seasons. It the likes of Mbappe, Ben Yedder, Lacazette. But it does keep our options open for Neymar and Renato Sanchez because they pop up after team of the seasons as they are moments. So fingers crossed we can hit one of them. No, I don't think that pack could have been any worse. We literally got the goalkeeper and the two lowest rated team of the seasons. Andre is worth 20k. We already know Cabela's worth 25k. And I expect Sam is worth about 25-30k as well. Purely because he is 93 rated. Looks like he's coming in around 40k. But all I hear about this card is that he's absolutely awful. He's only 6 foot 1. He obviously is not a base gold card. So his reactions are horrendous as well. So... Yikes. I mean, that's just the way it is with FIFA. Look, we did, we took the challenge. We were successful in completing a pender and we were able to go tradable with our rewards. But sadly, this is all you get sometimes. Thankfully, though, the video will not be ending here because we still have our 500k pack to open and then that will lead into a lot more league earn upgrades as well as some more SBCs ending with the hero player pick for this week. So now let's get into that. 500k pack time then. Hopefully this is where our luck turns around. Whatever we get in this, we will use to complete the Genie Wijnaldum SBC because I have a very good feeling on Roma to win the Europa League tonight. Well, you thought wrong. But here we are then, another 500k gone. But who really cares? It's all for a bit of fun. It is a team of the season. It's a Senegalese centre mid, which means it's going to be and die. Bit physically sick, to be honest. I honestly think every single one of these has got progressively worse as we've opened them. I'm not going to speak that just yet, because there is still the chance that we could see a Sissoko, Neymar or Renato Sanchez hiding behind it. But I'm not holding out much hope, given the way that today's pack opening has gone. But we shall see... Jesus Christ. Well, folks, we have just won 7-3 in the final game of Fut Champs playoffs, which means once again, we have gone 10 and 0. But what that means more importantly this week is that we have actually completed the playoff challenge. Now, there is a way that you guys can do this whereby you get four wins then leave before you actually get to qualification, allowing you to restart and then play for six the second time round. However, I have managed to do it in one attempt going 10 and 0. So, you know, sometimes it works out that way. It means we get 100k pack, a 50k pack and a mega pack. But on top of that, if we head over to the objective section, you will see that we have also completed the Foot Champs Playoff Plus, meaning that we get ourselves some player picks and a 285 pack. So we're going to get the player picks opened for you now. Kicking off then with the 2 times 84 player pick. And we do get ourselves a Huben Dish. A 3 times 84 player pick. Gets us a dupe team of the season, Bardaki. I will take him as a higher rated player than De Gea. And the one of four 84 plus player pick. 
gets us an 87 Trent. So I'll take that. 87, 88, 88 from our three player picks. We'll resolve all of the remaining dupes from the 500k pack and from this. And then we'll get those remaining reward packs open and all of our league earn remaining upgrades. The 85 double then for going 10-0 in the objective side of playoffs. Let's see if it was worth all that effort. It wasn't. It's going to be 285s, isn't it? Portuguese left back. It's going to be Cancelo, 88. He is not currently in my club, so it's not too bad. Can we see anything else with it? Brozovic. So it's two walkouts, but sadly no blues once again. Let's see if we can rectify that in those league earn packs. So now we have three league earn 75 plus packs. We pretty much thrown everything we have at this pack opening, but it's just not quite happened for us this week. But these are our final attempts to get them open. It's 11 times 75 league earn packs. Let's get the first one open now. See if we can get something massive. It is a blue. It's going to be Niger Nigerian. It's going to be Ivorian, which means it's going to be a duplicate for Fana. I say duplicate because obviously we got him as a red pick. That does mean there could be an opportunity for a couple of other good ones behind him. And of course, any of the moments... We do get a duplicate Andre. I will take that. Hopefully a good sign of things to come in the other two packs. All of the other dupes we will put into a league earned side upgrade. So another chance to get something from them as well. We shall see. Oh, we do get a blue in the side pack. An Argentinian. I mean, oh, I wasn't going to get carried away. The thought of actually potentially getting messy from the side upgrade pack. I just didn't think it was realistic. But we'll take Medina. Very good card. Very good fodder. Because once again, we have his red card. Good potential for any danglers. Though, no, not this time. Just some more dupes. On to the second 11 times then. Three blues from the first two packs. Can we make it four from three? No, we can't. It is going to be a walkout. Which probably means it's going to be Donnarumma. Yep, yeah, as expected. We will skip past him. Not really too fussed about that. And as you'd expect, the rest of the pack is as is. Let's see if we can get anything from the second side upgrade. As expected, nothing from the second side upgrade or the subsequent 80 plus player pick. So it all comes down to this. A final 11 75 plus league earn pack. Whatever we get from this will go towards finishing the hero player pick, which we'll use to round off this week's video. So our final shot. At a league earn team of the season in this week's video it comes in this pack. We will, of course, have the guaranteed league earn pack in tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, in tomorrow's video, in next week's video. So we'll get this open for you now. The final shot for this week. It is sadly only going to be a walkout again, which means it is going to be Donnarumma once again. So let's get him into the icon. I keep saying icon, the hero player pick, and then we will end this week's video. Five minutes later. So here we go then. The final part of this week's video. As always, thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. And if you haven't already done so, please do consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel as well. We are going to do a whole bunch of player picks to start off this week's Serie A grind. So... Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that at the start of next week's video. And like I said, we're ending it today with a 1 of 4, 88 plus World Cup, Fantasy Fart or Trophy Titan hero. For me, I just want Lucio. That's, that's all I really care about. I don't need any more attackers. My attack is absolutely stacked. So a uh, Ginola, Alawiran, they're not even going to make it probably even onto my bench. So for me, a Bundesliga Lucio is all I'm really looking for from this pack. But we shall see. One of four, 88 plus, World Cup, Fantasy Fart or Trophy Titan. And that is about... As good as could have been expected. Um, let's just take Dudek. We've already got Ledley King and he's already untradeable. So we'll just take Dudek. Sums up this video to be honest. And I apologise for not being able to hit anything massive for you. After what has been an incredible team in the season for me so far. Hopefully the luck turns back around for Syria next week. I'll see you then.